the exam room. Hold a moment. Is this just shadows just standing over there? This is quite the change in environment. Where are we now? This is the psychological exam room. Uh, we conduct psychological tests so that we can offer patients the happiest and most ideal realities. If you are interested, please proceed down the hall and through the door to, the ac uh, to access the information panel. An exam room? Like a hospital exam room? Perhaps. What not place? The shadows here aren't attacking us. Don't they want to stop us? Strange as, strange as it may be, they do not seem hostile um, to us at all. Furthermore, I admit I'm curious as to what this exam entails. Joker, perhaps we can talk to these shadows and gather some useful information. You are the Phantom Thieves, I assume. Normally, I capture any intruders, but this area is free to any who wish to enter. I will grant you entrance to the exam room, should you, des um, should you mm -hmm. so desire. Allowing intruders to proceed. How odd. They must be awfully confident in their exam techniques, at any rate. Um, exam techniques. At any rate, such progress um, progression should work in our favor. We should make sure we get our act straight for this. So what will it, what will it be? Um, what will it be? This, depending on your reply, we'll have to respond accordingly. Where did those people go? I see, so you're curious about our facilities. Very well. This is the lobby for the psychological exam room, where we determine if patients are mentally sound or not. We find the flaws and potential issues in a patient's heart that even they may not be aware of. Well? And what exactly compromises these examinations? Beyond that hall lies the special exam um, room. There, each patient answers three simple questions. Touch the information panel to begin the um, process. Listen to the questions and choose the elevator that corresponds with your answer. Please refrain from returning to the previous level until the exam is over, though. Treatment will, re will be recommended depending on the patient's diagnosis. But this treatment, just like every other step of the process, has been designed with the patient in mind. Do not worry. If abnormalities are found after the exam's completion, you will if no abnormalities are found after the completion of the exam, you will be presented with a gift. For the sake of your own happiness, we ask that you answer all questions with honesty. Um. So all we have to do is choose the answer we believe to be correct. Although, I'm a bit hesitant to find out what they mean by treatment. Examine a person's heart, find their pain, and regret. Then, re this, um, then distort their cognition. This is just the palace version of what Dr. Maraki does in real life. Wait! But, if we make a mistake, does that mean they're going to change our cognitions? That's probably confined to the real world here. Um, real world. Here, they probably mess with people's heads some other way. Like, maybe they hook you up to some machine and just bzzz. <laughs> hey, don't scare me like that. Well, whatever form of his, um, his treatment takes, I'm sure we want no part of it um, for ourselves. Standing here attempting to imagine won't do us any good, though. Let's take up, take the exam and see where we wind up. Huh? Is there a... That room's locked. Oh, I'm oh hey, a safe room. Let's Time to take a test, chat. Um The receptionist told us to start with the information panel. Oh, is that it? It's somewhere. I can feel it.
Alright. What's the panel got to say? Hello, patients. Here's your first question. One day at school, you see that your good friend is being led away by a group of scary people. You, you want to help your friend, but if you fight them alone and lose, you could easily get hurt. If you go look for a teacher, there would be no danger to you, but if you don't succeed in time, your friend would most likely get hurt. Which would you do in this situation? A. Go after your friend, or B. Go get help. Once you've made your decision, please take the corresponding elevator. Thank you. Huh? Huh? Neither answer is wrong, though. Yeah, but this is a medical exam, not a school one. They're trying to figure out whether or not you need treatment. So maybe we go, maybe go with the answer that you think Dr. Maruki would pick. Hmm. So, we have to try and figure out which one Dr. Maruki would pick. Oh, this is, um, oh, this is gonna be hard. It's hard to be, sh um, be sure of anything whatsoever right now. Why don't we try asking um, some of these other patients around here? They may only be cognitive beings, but they still have to take the exam just like we do. Maybe they can help us figure out which answer's right. Right, right. I'm with Mona. Besides, if you try and fail, at least you gave it a shot. Although I'm not opposed to just bl um, plowing our way through the whole exam, but if you refuse their treatment regimen, whatever it is, they're gonna take that. They're not gonna take that lying down. TLDR. Okay. All right, let's try seeing this guy. You guys are dressed awfully fancy. It doesn't look like you're here for an examination. Have you chosen an answer? Definitely A. If someone needs my help, I'm doing what needs to be done. Oh? Is there a reason you didn't even hesitate? A reason? Oh well. Normally I wouldn't share this with someone I just met. But I was in this exact situation in the past. The difference is that time I just acted like I didn't see anything and went on my way. I let my fear control me. Pretty pathetic of me, right? I've regretted it ever since. So I've decided from now on I'm going to help people in need no matter what happens to me. Yeah, stuff like that can make you feel totally horrible. Even if it ends up hurting, I'm hurting, it's still better to go with whatever choice you won't regret later. I'm on board. Eight sounds like the right answer to me. Thanks. Well, that's the reasoning for my answer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. See ya. Peace. Salvation! Alright, let's see what this dude says. Hey. Hey, you got a sec? Hmm. Oh, yes. How can I help you? Did you decide yet? I, uh, chose B. This is sort of embarrassing, but I'm never on the helping side. Someone always has to help me. I just don't have the courage to confront somebody. Hmm. So you're the type to ask others for help. I mean, that ain't wrong, but don't you ever... Don't you ever think to yourself, I want to help them? Of course I do. But even if I had the courage to step in, I might not be able to actually help. It's, if that's the case, it's probably best if I go get help from someone else. That way, success is more, uh, much yes. more likely. So it's your, it's your consideration for others that made you choose B. Well, thank you for your time. You're very welcome. Now, if you would excuse me. Well... Now we know both sides of the story, but neither one's exactly wrong, right? I kind of get where they're both coming from. What matters is which one Dr. Maruki thinks is wrong. Why don't we collect our thoughts somewhere and talk out, um, talk out our answers? Hey! How, how about the empty room over there? Interesting pictures? Alright, let's figure this out. So after some investigating, I think they use this place to test patients' mental states with a questionnaire. 
If they find any abnormal um, abnormalities, they'll force treatment right away. Not sure what it is, but I suspect we should avoid it. Um. So if Dr. Maruki thinks we're fine as we are, we get, no, we get to skip treatment. Most likely. It may not be easy, but we'll have to try to think like Dr. Maruki whenever, com whenever coming up with our responses. Uh. Sorry, Joker, but I ain't, no, I ain't any good at this kind of stuff. The question is all yours, dude. Well, then. Okay, let's think of how to handle the first question. What should we do, Joker? Let's review what we know. All right, whose story do you want to discuss? Strong World Man. Now then. He's the one who chose A. Go after your friend. He said he'd help any person he might see who was in trouble. He had a turn. He had turned a blind eye in a similar situation in the past. His regret is the main reason he would inter intervene in the future. Indeed. Hmm. Setting up to evil to help your friend certainly seems like the right thing to do. That would be correct if this were based on overly simplistic morals, but this is rather based on Maruki's viewpoint. You may find the man's stance is admirable, but would Maruki do the same? Well? Right. The risk factor is what bothers me about this choice. You would likely be hurt if you ended up failing. We have to consider Dr. Maruki's thoughts about that. Yeah, Dr. Maruki wants everyone to find their happiness, so that means... Hmm. Guess it's about it for that one. Thoughts? Our reserved man. Now then. He's the one that chose B. Go get help. He said there's a chance he wouldn't be able to help his friend alone, so he'd rather find a way to increase the odds. I get what he's saying, but it still bugs me. It's like he's just running away. But... Yes, but it's not as if his sole pri um, priority was avoiding getting hurt. I wonder what Dr. Marky would think about it. Remember what Dr. Marky said on his last day at the school. He said it's okay to escape your problem if it becomes too painful. Do you think he'd consider this the same thing? Hmm. I guess that's about for the, it what for are this your one. Thoughts? Change the topic. What's up? Let's see. Pick your answer. Yep. Okay, let's come up with an answer based on what we've heard. I, it really comes down to how Marky would think about it. Risking yourself to help your friend or take the time to find dependable help. Ooh. Determining which choice is incorrect is quite difficult. Aww. And neither choice guarantees your friend's safety, if you think about it. Neither option seems any more successful than the other one when it comes to helping your friend. Hmm? What do you mean? Do you have a moment? Your friend may end up hurt no matter which answer you choose, so that isn't the deciding factor here. The issue is that you may end up getting hurt. That you may end up getting hurt. That's what we base our decision on. Uh, great. Joker, What you totally got this. <sighs> I guess he's done thinking it over. <laughs> but we should have enough information to make a wise decision. That part's up to you, Joker. What's up? Right. Darn it, Ryuji. You lazy bum. It's like, right, okay, do? so you do the rest of the work, Joker. I'm conking out of this one. Uh, we're gonna go with B. It's the only one that says you're not going to get hurt. We're the smartest choice would be to decrease the amount of damage you would take. Since both have the chance of the uh, friend getting hurt either way. Hmm. Maybe Ming Maruki believes it's best to find a way to avoid being hurt. Nice running into you here, actually. You can have this. They were passing them out to everyone in here, but I got more than I need. Stronger lift S. It appears we've yet to finish the exam, though. If you'll excuse me. Yes! Alright, everyone. Let's keep at it. Or let's keep it up. Made it. The second question appears to have three possible answers though. All right, then. Let's find out what we're dealing with this time. Uh, curiousness. So this room's the wrong answer. Uh, this room's for the wrong answer. What what would happen if um what would happen to us if we chose it? Hmm? I thought I said someone. Maybe I just need a break. I've been helping patients with no end in sight. This is no good for me. A shadow? It's rather easy to imagine now what would have happened had we chosen A instead. 
Looks like we were right. Choosing the answer that Maruki would believe is correct uh, is the safest way for us to advance and not get attacked by shadows. Oh's, 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 oh's. <laughs> it's just, let's just sneak away. Continue doing our business. I can feel it. I can feel it. I'll climb up here, so let's try it. Huh. I always find it weird that they let you climb up here, but there's nothing up here to do. You climb up this one, too. Oh, wait. This one has a crawl space. Sweet. This place. Look, outside the window. That's where the elevator leads, right? Well, they did call it an exam room. There could very well be they could very well be monitoring the psychological state of every patient in the room. You mean they might have been watching us this whole time? That's so creepy. <clears throat> creepy is right. I just wish there was some way we could benefit from this. We got a Ouija board. So that's how they spy on everyone in the exam room. Mm -hmm. So uh, are you guys as bored as I am? Depending on where we check, we might be able to pick up something beneficial. So... It seems like red and blue are fine. Looks like yellow is bad. Yeah, it looks like there's a shadow in yellow. Alright, do we check the question already? you again. Here's the second question. We have a personal, you have a personal dream that you really, really want to make come true. You've worked so hard to achieve it, but it's just not come, um, it's just not coming to fruition. It's causing you a lot of grief, but if you were to give up now, all of your hard work is sure to be for nothing. Which would you do in this situation? Keep up the hard work. B, do whatever it takes. C, give up for a new dream. Please be honest about your feelings as you consider, um, your answer. Thank you. Hmm. We don't know enough to make a decision. We should gather information. All right, let's go and talk to the, um, these folks like we did last time. I really wish they would voice all this stuff, though. Like, why is it not voiced? <sighs> Be a bit tired of having to keep talking about it. What can I help you with? I'd like to hear your opinion. The people here are pretty chatty, aren't they? Not that I mind, of course. About the question, I suppose I'm going with A, keep up the hard work. Um... Does that mean you have a dream already? Yeah, I prob- I guess you could say it so. You probably wouldn't be interested in hearing all that, though. I'm a musician, but I'm still at the point where I can only play on the street. I work a part-time job so I can afford lessons. In my spare time, I'm always recording demos or practicing. Whenever I come up with something I like, I send it to out for potential auditions. Despite all that, I'm just not getting anywhere. Maybe I don't really have the neck for it. No! But, but working hard towards your dream is healthy. You're right, thank you. I was just being hard on myself for a moment there. When I come home from work and lie down in the bed, um, in my bed by myself, I just get so worried. When things are going badly, I start to break down and ask myself, how much longer can I do this? But all I can do is believe in my ability. I love music so much, and I have no intention of quitting. Thank you very much. You sound tough. You're welcome. See you. I can't believe I just admitted all that to complete strangers. It's because I have a friendly face.
Here we go. Energetic guy. Whoa, don't you guys look crazy. Are you cosplayers or something? Those look like they took forever to make. That is just so awesome. Will you drop in on my stream sometime? Huh? What do you say? Yeah. What the heck? What the heck is with this guy? He's so pushy. Just tell me your answer. Oh, uh, I'll do, I'll do just that. So I know it's probably not the answer for everyone, but I'm gonna choose B. Do whatever it takes. I started streaming so I could try to get rich. With how streaming's blown up, if this goes well for me, I'd really be swimming in it. You know what I mean? Hmm. So you're doing it for the money. But it hasn't been as easy as I hoped. I posted videos every day, but my view count never went anywhere. But then I forgot. Um, but then I found a mother look. There was a video someone uploaded where he just bashed on this celebrity so bad it was ruthless, and his view count was through the roof. That's when I knew what I had to do to make it. From then on, I switched over to solely posting bash vids. Lo and behold, my view count started to shoot up. Mm. Oh, so he's flame baiting, saying out. So he's flame baiting, saying outrageous stuff just for the attention. So basically, all this stuff you're doing, I'm um, going on about. No, so all this stuff you're going on about, basically, it boils down to you talking shit about other people for money, yeah? <laughs> you really nailed it there. People hate me on night, um, hate me on night and day. People hate on me night and day in the comments. They even point me out on the streets now. But I'm going, I'm not doing anything illegal or any, I'm not doing anything illegal or anything. And that's better than what I could have ended up doing. I walked away from my job because the stress was killing me. But then I became a real burden to my parents for a while. But if I'm a famous streamer, I can make enough to survive and pay my parents back, right? Right? Hmm. I don't know how I should feel about all this. You spread negativity, but it's not entirely for personal gain. Hey, are you guys getting an interest in me? Maybe we can come up with some kind of collab together. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just go already. Subscribe to my channel, okay? Him and his shameless pug. Hmm? What do you want? Which one are you choosing? This doesn't... Does it actually matter? I'm pretty sure it won't make a difference. Well, if I had to ch if I have to choose, I'm going with C. Give up for a new dream. I mean, the other ones apply even less to me than that one. Huh? What do you... What do you mean? Don't you want to make your dream come true? Whoa there, hold on a sec. That's like for people who have big dreams, right? Besides, trying hard isn't actually gonna solve anything. Why wear yourself down to nothing over some dream? It'd be a lot simpler to just choose an easier dream. <laughs> yes. I personally believe that pursuing something is a wonderful thing. I suppose it depends on the person. Probably. Yeah, I got tired of doing stuff like that, so I just quit. If I had a dream I actually cared about, it might be different, but I don't have anything like that. Failing after trying your hardest, um, hardest hurts the worst. That's what it all boils down to, you know? So, he's avoiding dreams that might not come true because it's easier. It's not the worst advice, but still. Aren't you guys taking the elevator? Then I'm gonna go ahead. Um... I think we've heard all the side of, um, all sides of the situation. Perhaps we should gather somewhere to discuss it. Here, here. Uh, I believe the room's all the way on the other side. You. Shall we begin? Well then. Let's go All right. Whose story do you want to discuss? A dedicated woman. So she's the one who chose A. Keep up the hard work. She said she's gonna keep trying until she makes it. Yes. Yes. She says she loves music so much, she's going to keep pushing herself until she succeeds. I don't want to be presumptuous, but I don't think Dr. Marky would deny somebody the pursuit of their dreams. Hmm. But she isn't succeeding at her dreams, at least not to the degree she desires. And she said herself she does worry over it a great deal. If Marky 
considered that to be harming oneself. I guess that's all we can get out of that answer. What are your thoughts? Energetic dude. This is the guy who chose B. Do whatever it takes. He said he planned to strike it rich by uploading intentional controversial videos on social media. Uh, I mean, he said he was, was doing it to help his parents, but I don't think talking shit about others is the best way to do that. Even if he's not, even if he's got issues to deal with, flame baiting for attention is just too crappy. Hmm. What do you think, Dr. Markey? Um, Doc, Dr. Markey's take would be though, it's a, it's ethically wrong, so I'm fairly certain he wouldn't improve. It doesn't just hurt others either; it damages the psyche of the person being negative as well. Even if he claimed it's doing him good, I don't think this is the right answer. I guess the, I guess that's all we can get out of that answer. All right, so we're thoughts? moving on to dispassionate student. He's the guy who chose C. Give up for a new dream. Said he doesn't have any particular big, particularly yes. big aspirations. Yeah, he said he disagreed with the other two options more than that one. He said pushing oneself to succeed isn't worth it. I suppose I understand where he's coming from, but I can't agree. He said going after an easier dream is better than getting hurt by trying to succeed and failing. I guess he prefers things easy. Going. Hmm. Indeed. But if one lives in fear of injuries, nothing good can come um, to fruition. Throughout the history of art, creators face their... Yep, got it. I know folk from Fox. Moving on. Ah, ah. She cut him off. What are your thoughts? He said, okay, what are your thoughts? got it. That's enough from Fox. Moving on. Uh, let's pick an answer. So the question is, what do you do when you're working hard but still can't make your dream come true? Let's think from Marky's point of view. Um. Well, in that case, Dr. Marky isn't just caring. He's willing to speak up when something's not right, too. When one of the higher-ups at the school threatened my honor status over my tournament results, Dr. Markey had my back the whole time. So I don't think he would be okay with using a method that would bring harm to someone else. Yes. Even now, he's trying to save everyone by giving us a reality we're all, um, where we're all happy. With that in mind, that would leave us with either A, keep up the hard work, or C, give up and find a new dream. Well? If the last question is anything to go by, the correct question is the one. One where you don't risk hurting yourself. It may help to bear that in mind. Keep pursuing the dream or give it up. Which one would hurt um, more? What are your thoughts? So then it's between A and C, which is, I believe, blue. It's between blue and yellow. Or whatever that color is supposed to be. Hmm. But it's definitely not B. Um. It's somewhere. I think I'm gonna go. I kinda wanna go with C. This one what hurts do you less. Do? It seems like this one would hurt less. No, no abnormal, um, abnormalities detected in query response. Please proceed to the next room. I guess we're right, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh, you too? Huh? Who wants to get all seriously serious about stuff? Am I right? It's not that we agree with you. We were try just trying to avoid the wrong answer. What do you mean, wrong answer? There's no right or wrong answers here. Don't get so stressed over this. Those guys seem like they know what they're doing. Oh, wait, let me give you this before I go. They handed them out um, just a second ago, but I don't need it. See you around, cosplay kids. Dr. Marky thinks people should give up on dreams? No, more accurately, he thinks people should cause, shouldn't cause themselves pain in the pursuit of dreams. Something to, something to that effect. This exam is likely intended to filter people who are inclined to do such a thing. At any rate, contemplating the complete completed question is nothing but a waste of time.
Oh man. Is that five answers? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh man. We got five choices this time. My brain can't take this shit anymore. Can we just pick a random elevator and be done with this shit? I understand how you feel, but we can't give up before we even try. Come on, let's see what our question is. <sighs> Gonna be here forever. Oh, there it is. Welcome back yet again. Let's move on to the third question. You've gained the power to steal people's hearts. Thoughts, emotions, information, you can steal all of it from anyone in the world. Not only that, you can use this power without fear of ever getting caught. In this scenario, which sounds closest to what you would do? A. Steal something valuable. B. Never steal anything. C. Steal my own heart to heal. D. Steal, ev steal evil hearts to fix society. Or E. Steal the one I love's heart. What? What the? Is this question about us? Well, obviously it's D. Let's roll. Actually use your brain. You're not even trying. Hmm. So the conditions this time are that we won't get caught and that we can only choose one use for our ability. What We should bear those in mind as we consider <laughs> our answer. Assuming you have a mind in the first place. Hey, bragging on Mona ain't cool. No, no, yeah, no. thanks, but uh, I don't think I was the one being insulted there. Ryuji's so dumb you can't even tell when somebody's talking bad about him. I can feel it. Huh. I actually find that to be pretty darn sad. I can be so stupid that you're oblivious to evil talk. Though I guess that could be a good thing. At least you don't have to worry about people uh, bad mouthing you and you <laughs> flying off the handle. So there's another one in here too. Hmm. We might be able to narrow our options. I'm narrowing down our options. Let's see what we can learn. Well, can't go in green. I never got along with my husband. I actually hated him. But recently, I'm, I've been thinking, maybe it was my fault. And now I've started to hate myself more and more every day. So that's why you want to steal your own heart. Come on, man. Damn, they're just throwing treatment right at right away. Well, when she says something like, "Reply will see, steal my own heart to heal." Admitting to having a problem is practically begging for treatment in this place. How are you she didn't get that in the get go? I'll never understand, but such is life. So the green one. We're definitely not doing the green one. The green one is bad news. I'll reveal your true form. Unexpected. I don't think I have him yet. Stay alert. Curse attacks won't work. Stay alert. Curse attacks won't work. All for you. Uh, so his weakness is probably nuclear. Right, let's go. Take over. Ravage them. Nope, I was wrong. Sure. Leave it to me. 
No green is bad, and yellow's clearly got some issues. And blue has somebody in it. So green, blue, and yellow are no-nos. Hey. Hey, look at a shadow. And hey, look, a shadow. That must mean... I've always been popular with men. I've never had a problem getting a boyfriend. But the person I loved the most would never even look at me. Then one day I saw him with someone else, um, someone who I figured was his girlfriend. So I thought, if only I could steal his heart. I see, that must have been very difficult for you. However, the ideal reality is one where every single person is happy. Such self-centeredness has no place there. Happiness gained by depriving others of their own is, in actuality, unhappiness. You two can become happy though. Hmm. So E is no. It's somewhere. E is a giant fat no no. Um, and so is uh the blue one, whatever that one is. Blue, green, yellow. So we've already nailed it down to just two two choices. I can see it. <gasps> so green, C, no. Uh, yellow, still the uh, other person's heart, no. Blue, which is A, no. It's somewhere. Let's see. Confident looking woman. Man, you look, you all look so um, tense. Did you come here to become happy too? Good guess. I mean, everyone wants to be happy, right? I know I do. Um... Have you decided on your answer yet? Hmm. I guess after thinking about it, I'd pick whatever would get me the most money. I know stealing isn't the best behavior, but we all need money to, no matter what. Yeah? I work in fashion retail. My dream is to open my own boot, um, boutique, or boutique one day. And that's not something I'm going to be doing without money. I know that for sure. So that so means... You'll choose A, steal something valuable. Mm-hmm. I'd probably do it if I was actually able to. Able and no one would find out. But I mean, that's totally impossible. It's fine to fantasize about stuff like that, though. Um, you know? <sighs> so she would wish for fun, wish to fun her dream. There was no risk involved. Suppose she, um, we could, um, I suppose we should consider that Dr. Markey's stance on that would be. Dr. Markey wouldn't like that. Oh, I meant to mention, about your outfits. How should I phrase this? Those are the biggest part of her first impression. She probably put more consideration to our, um, to yours. Hello, are you all here for the exam as well? Yes. Yes, we are going around asking how others intend to answer the question. Have you come to a decision yet? As a matter of fact, yes, I'm going to go with B. Never steal anything. Are you happy right now? Hmm. Well, I have a wife and a daughter. We're not exactly wealthy by any def by any definition, but we're happy as we are. If I ask for too much, I'll wind up losing something in exchange. If I don't, if I just wouldn't do anything that 
I know, and I just wouldn't do anything that could bring harm to my family. We must care quite a bit for them. It could also just be plain old cowardice. That could that could explain why I still haven't gotten any promotions yet. Uh... Family's important and all, but don't you wanna don't you wanna like do something big with your life? I, maybe when I was little, but even then I wouldn't have asked for much. I have my family, and that's good enough for me. So he cares for his family and doesn't want much else out of his life besides that. It doesn't doesn't do anyone any harm, and on top of that, there aren't any big risk of danger involved. If those are all the relevant factors, then this guy seems to be on the level. But in all, but it all depends on what Mark would think. Well, I'm gonna get um get going. I hope you all find an answer you agree on. It may not be much, but we do have some information. Maybe we should discuss how we think Dr. Mark will react to each answer. Alright, so let's go and uh, talk. Okay. Alright, third question. We have a bunch of choices to go through, so let's be nice and met um, method um, method <sighs> methodical. Let's be nice and methodical about it. <laughs> Yo, I can't pronounce words, chat. I'm bad at pronouncing words, chat. Let's see, confident looking woman. She's the one who chose A, still something valuable. Mm. She aspires to have her own store someday. She said if she wouldn't get caught, she might do it so she can make her dreams come true. I, I can relate to her problem. It seems one can never have enough money. With enough money, I could buy all the art supplies I need. I could even stop cultivating daikon sprouts. <laughs> what? Uh, Fox and Pie, I have some questions about how you actually survive day to day. <sighs> we'll fill you in later. He's cultivating daikon sprouts in his, uh, dorm room, I guess? What are your thoughts? Weird. Uh, composed man. He chose B. Never steal anything. Um. He said he doesn't want much besides his family. He said is he's happy enough being with them. Well, if he's happy, doesn't that make it a good answer to Mark? Uh... But there was something about how he said it. He said it was good enough, right? He may be happy, but I don't know if that alone would suffice for Dr. Maruki. That about sums that person up. What are your thoughts? A depressed woman. She's the one who chose C, still my own heart, to heal. Uh. Well, we saw how that one goes. Wrong answer. I mean, is it really so bad to be able to recognize your own faults? Not at all, but considering we are on where we are, if you claim to be unwell in an exam room, you're getting treatment. <laughs> Durr! If you say thoughts? something's wrong with you, you're, then you're going to get treated like something's wrong with you. Heart broken woman. She chose E, still the one I love's heart. We all saw how that one just ends up in treatment time. Indeed. And I believe that's the correct reaction. I have no tolerance for people forcing their will into others like that. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Let's see. Mm. We need to think carefully about what this question really asks of us. Like Crow pointed out, what bugs me is how, is how it asks what you would steal without fear of ever getting caught. True, the question doesn't seem, um, does seem different from the previous two. Well. Even when it comes to the people who said that they wouldn't do anything unsavory, if they were to know, um, were to know that for certain that they would not, um, if they were to know for certain that they would never get caught, their morals could easily slip. Perhaps Marky is trying to catch some su um, such stuff as individuals with this exam. Yes, you're we right. We saw what happens to anyone who answers E. Anyone who wishes to steal the heart of their love is deemed abnormal. We should also we should exclude the options to steal for superficial reasons, so that eliminates both A and E. Also, that person who chose C, the one who said she'd steal her own heart, she looked like she was about to be treated. Yep, yep. Well, duh, if you say something's wrong with you in an exam, you're gonna get some kind of treatment. So that one's out too. So A and C are done. That only leaves B and D. Either still any, um, never steal anything, or steal evil hearts to fix society. D, obviously, that's what I'd go with. <sighs> If we may, if we may put Skull's brain dead input to the side for now. <laughs> Yo, chat, everybody goes on Skull. 
As I said earlier, Martha is trying to find individuals ex um, exhibiting morals, even in a nervous scenario. Uh, he also wishes for people to be wholly filled, not some compromised middle position. You have all the information you need, Joker. I'm sure you've already figured it out. If you, <laughs> what are your thoughts? Put, putting Joker's brain dead comments to the side for now. Right. Okay, so it's not A, E, or C. We don't take C. We don't take E. We don't take A. So it's either D or B. D is a Phantom Hearts run. Do we go with the family or we go with the Phantom Hearts one? Huh. He stated that he isn't certain. I think we go with the what family one. We're gonna go with the family one, chat. Hopefully it's the right one. Nope. Oh wait, no. No, we got the wrong one. You call yourself happy. Is this the truth though? Are you not merely sacrificing your true selves? Do not forego your your right to happiness so quickly. Allow us to provide you true freedom. <laughs> Crap, I got the wrong one, chat. Phantom Thieves, could your true intentions be to harm our master? Should there be any res re um, remnants of deceit in your hearts, I should be the one to find and eliminate it. Well, we messed up, chat. Uh, let's go ahead and knock this one out. Capture him. Go back to her. No! I killed him anyway. So I should have went with the other one. Was it E? Not E, uh, D. I should have went with D. Huh? Unfortunate. The shadow that you had to fight isn't all that strong, so. I wonder why this particular room is so high, so much higher up. Huh. I wonder what's going on right there. Somewhere. I feel like I'm missing something. Huh? 
Huh? Is there a safe room around here somewhere? So then there's got to be something in here I'm missing. There's a whole big red spot right there that we haven't gone into yet. Oh, maybe that's what happens if you go through that other door. Yeah, it looks like that's what happens when you go through that, uh, that entrance. Uh, I wonder if I can head back down. Was it, uh... Oh, all the other rooms are up already. Well, that's unfortunate. We can't uh, take them into that room. I wonder if that room is just one of those rooms you can't get into. There's something in there, though. came from though. <laughs> Did I miss something by accident when I came this way the first time? Focus. I'll reveal Cease your true once. form. Cease to set once. Huh, I feel like I missed something. Uh, we're gonna try to capture this again. Never mind. Never mind. You still exploded and All killed right. everybody. I can see it. Can you tell if I've grown stronger? I came back in here to see if there was some kind of a uh, crawl space I can go into. Doesn't appear to be. Hmm. Which means one of these... <laughs> nope. I can feel it. Alright, well... We tried to find some special place or room or side area. No luck. Maybe you oh, literally yes. have to choose that path if you want to get that item. I wish I had known. I would have uh I would have chosen that path just to get the item. Whoa. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with these guys? Whoa, look at all those freaking machines they're wearing. Well. They call this place the treatment room, so that's what treatment is? It sure as hell don't look like it to me. There's a weird gate type thing over there too. Let's check it out. Focus. Wait. What the? You're just passing through that weird wall of what even is it? Attention post-treatment patients, please pass through the glowing gate. Your paradise awaits you on the other side. Hmm. So they identify abnormalities in the exam room, then treat them here. Once someone is certified as happy, they get funneled into that gate. Just try it out. Careful, you might get burned to a crisp the second you touch it or something. <sighs> hey, how about we don't jinx this? Patients, my, my, um, patients may not pass without receiving treatment. Please follow the instructions provided elsewhere to seek treatment. Looks like we really aren't getting through this gate. I suppose we'll just have to find another path. Alright then. Another path it is. I like other paths. I wonder if this leads me to that room I was trying to get into the before. Yep, it does. Joker, a treasure chest. What? So this is leading me down. So this is, this is the path I would have taken if I had chosen the correct one. I have something. Had I had chosen the correct path, that's the path I would have gotten. Makes sense. Well, we still got the item either way. So it's not like we missed out on anything. Well, that's locked. Hmm. This palace sure does love its locked doors. I'm um, help another TV. Looks like we're in for another movie. Oh, but not right now, at least. Um, not right right now. At least there's no tape in the player. No doubt we'll need to find one in order to, um to watch it. Alright, so we need to find a tape. Strong guy. Hey. Hey, those are some scary looking shadows. Make sure you don't get caught. Looks like we're got we've got shadows patrolling the area. Make sure no one sneaks up on us while we're hunt um while we hunt down that videotape. It's somewhere. Okay. Going up here. Oh, 
Let's find out what's in that box. Looks like papers. Cleaning spray. <sighs> Good. He didn't see me. Hmm. It would be if we cared about it, but we're not. We're gonna go through here. So we have a. It's somewhere. We have a Fafnir and some other person. Hey. Hold on. There are a ton of tough enemies down there. It'd be bad if they came at us um, all at once. Maybe we should come back later. They might move on while we investigate some other place. Right. Uh, okay. I have if that's what he if that's what he suggests, we're gonna go ahead and move. Uh, I guess that means we have to cause a commotion some other place. Your true form. I'll reveal your true form. Sponsor didn't use the grappling hook from up there. Uh, we have ball. Better than Sheldrion. Good job, Violet. It has no weakness. Our best chance is to make it confused. Please, okay. on to the next. Persona! Go down. Megion. That's my Egion. Oh wow. Uh. Do it. I actually ended up killing the uh killing them. I didn't expect to kill him, Jack. All those okay. leveled up stuff. So. I can see it. That enemy was really weak. Alright, let's keep it moving. Um What's in this box? Uh, relax, <sighs> Jill. More papers. June 3rd. My thesis is progressing bit by bit. The more research I perform, the more I recognize the dangers of cognitive science. It's definitely contributed to my suspicious, um, suspicions over my research being shut down. No matter what, I must complete my thesis as soon as possible. My biggest problem is my lack of research subjects. If only I could find some hint about the con cognitive world, about this power I've received. I'm not giving up funding or I'm not giving up funding or no funding. I will I will complete my thesis. I will save everyone. Well, that's a little presumptuous of him to think he's going to save everyone. Curse skill might do it. If 
We can manage an instant kill here. Go ahead. Not my turn now. Persona. Cow gun. One pilot. Two birds with one wow, stone. You never see it coming. You see. What ice is ineffective on this enemy? Watch out. What done and right now? You're not surprised. Curse bomb. Kills it with that. Let's catch your breath. Just what? Like I thought. Was that Lakshima? I really okay. need to figure out what I'm gonna do with her. I can One it. problem sorted out. Is everyone all right? So what is this? Is there any way up there? This is great stuff. This one looks tough. We can attack from here. I have something. <clears throat> you found Show me your true form. I hope that wasn't a fast mirror because I definitely just hit the button instinctively. Oh, it's a Hester. I, I want to capture some of these. Capture him. Not too shabby. Stop right there. Jump my cost. It's no good. You can't talk to it. Is it because of the paralysis? I guess it was. Maybe because of the paralysis. Weird that I couldn't talk to him. Oh, summoning time. Good work. Keep it up. I have something. Time to get your summon on. Oh. More papers. B. <sighs> Let's join the patrol. Apparently, some intruders rejected treatment and are currently roaming the facility. They've if they've refused our master's salvation, they truly are beyond help. You must capture them quickly. Don't forget to lock this door. That's... It's so good! It's so good! It's so good! It's so good! <laughs> It's so good! It's so good! Oof. Double the trouble. Get out of there before they, uh... Show back up. Show 
Show me your true form. Show me your true form. Cease this at once. Oh, Kukulin, Kukulin, and uh, a uh, Kukulin and Sacha. I have, I've had him. Um, I have her. Let's go. Go down. Knock them right off their feet. Nice, Joker. No weaknesses? No, no weaknesses. But that's fine. Up to you. Let's go, Kitty Cat. Miracle Rush. You crippled the wrong person. He's like, well, it's fine. Oh wait, that means I can't hit him with electric electricity anymore. Let's be simple about this. Ching ching. She blocked it. Does she have counter? Oh, she has high counter. I didn't realize she had high counter. Mega double. Because you're gonna knock them all out. Alright. This power. This power. Okay. Shadow defeat. Alright, so. Push forward. Is that what I'm looking for? Oh. Let's find out what's in this box. <sighs> nothing. Let's look elsewhere. No, like literally nothing. Alright, so we're supposed to go to that other room. I forget which room it was that I was supposed to be in. It has a crawl space, so... Okay, so it's this room over here. Oh, no, wrong one. This room over here. That has the crawl space. First, I gotta wait for that dude to turn around. Okay, he turned around. That shadow hasn't noticed us yet. Lucky us. I ain't striking it. Fafnir, we'll be here forever fighting that dude. There's a strong one, I can tell. <laughs> Literally be here forever trying to fight Fafnir. So instead of that, Joker, there's a chest. Let's open it. Yeah. Oh. Starry Wisdom Vest. Looks like that's a her males. Um, I guess if we're gonna use any of them, it's gonna be use K. Focus. Yeah! Ah, oh, there we go. Got a videotape. Oh, yeah. Um, we're gonna wait for dude to pad away before we open this door. We don't run. I don't think he'll hear us. Okay, we're good. Safe.
Oh! That would have been dumb. Alright, let's go watch the video. Well, we got the tape. I wonder what we'll see this time. Hmm. I wager this, um, I wager, I'll wager this much. It won't be pleasant. Regardless, we should watch it sooner rather than later. So, you're Sumire Yoshizawa, huh? I'm Dr. Maruki. I'll be your counselor. First of all, thank you for coming to see me. Yes. Thank you for seeing me. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to discuss. I only came here today because my parents wanted me to. That's fine. So, do you want to just chat until our time's up then? Chat, huh? Of course. It's not really possible for us to talk about things you don't want to discuss anyway. I've also got some sweets and some salty snacks there. Feel free to have at them. Oh yes, thank you so much. So, let's start with, uh, ah, how about, what'd you eat for lunch yesterday? Mm. I'll go first. The other day, a friend of mine gave me a ton of apples. I've grown tired of just eating them by themselves. Yesterday, I thought, why not try using them as a meal ingredient? So, I tried making an apple dish for lunch, but that didn't turn out too hot. What do you think I ended up making? I have no clue. Shrimp and chili sauce. With apples. You know how sweet and sour pork can have pineapple in it? I was going for that, but... Sounds like it didn't work for you. Apples do make for good ingredients, though. If you grate them, you can make a surprisingly versatile sauce. I use it in plenty of my food. It's pretty nutritious and good for digestion. You cook, Yoshizawa-san? I'm impressed that you care so much about nutrition. You must be really on top of things. <sighs> I'm just active, that's all. I'm a gymnast. My coach has told me more than once to be conscious of everything I eat. I see. How's practice going for you? Has it been rough lately? It has been rough. I mean, it's nothing I can't handle, but it's not going well. I don't even know what I want to do anymore. Sorry to hear it. Do you enjoy gymnastics? I'm not even sure of that. My well, older sister good. and I made a promise. We'd both compete and win the biggest gymnastics awards in the world. But she passed away. She protected me from a car. I stole Kasumi's dream away from her. I can't do it anymore. I can't just go on like this. If Kasumi were here instead, I know she'd make her dream come true. Only Kasumi could have done it. No matter how long I try to compete, it's not going to change anything. I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize in here. If there's something you need to get off your chest, please do so. Sometimes, I can't help but think things would have been better if I were Kasumi Yoshizawa. After all, just wishing to make her dream come true does nothing for her in reality. Making dreams come true, huh? Well, I don't think your train of thought is strange at all, Yoshizawa-san. In fact, wanting to become somebody else isn't necessarily an entirely bad thing. You... you think so? Everyone is capable of changing themselves. Your imagination's your only limit. That's why, if you aspire to be more like another person, it's actually possible. Thought exercises like, would that person do this? Or realizations like, that person wouldn't do that. These sorts of thoughts can lead people to change themselves in ways that more closely mirror the target person. Hmm. <sighs> can you still imagine what your sister was like? Yes. If your sister were in your shoes, what do you think she'd do? Well... She wouldn't cry. If she had the time to do that, she'd just practice more instead. Dr. Maruki, I... I want to become Kasumi. I know. And I'm sure you can too. Just... believe in yourself. She believes... Carnation changed. How about it? Are you feeling any better now? Yes. I feel 
like a weight's been lifted off of me. You're amazing, Doctor. <laughs> it's no big deal. Still, it seems like my counseling approach does some good after all. All right. I'm not sure how to put it, but I feel like I've been reborn all over again. Really? I'm very glad to hear it. Feel free what? to drop by again sometime. You took your glasses off. Come up. Can we can even see? just have a chat, like today. Thank you. Then we could pick up where we left off talking about... Hmm. Something the matter? Now that I think about it, I'm not any good at cooking. I don't know why I said those things earlier. My younger sister's the one who was really great at it. Hmm. That's right. Kasumi Yoshizawa. Yes? What is it? Oh, nothing. I'm so glad I was able to help you. Good luck with your training. Right. I'll do my best. For Sumire's sake and mine. Was that...? Yes. It was a counseling session I had with Dr. Maruki. It was just after Kasumi... After my sister passed away. From that moment on, I lived my life really believing I was Kasumi. It was all due to the rewriting of your cognition. His actualization, as we've started calling it. Okay, but I've been wondering something. So, it was only Sumire who believed that she was Kasumi, right? I assumed someone in your family or one of your friends would have noticed you going by the wrong name right away. Well, I can certainly remember being called Kasumi by everyone else, too. It might be more accurate to say you misheard or misunderstood the name you were being called. Like everyone kept calling you Sumire, but your cognition made you hear it as Kasumi. So that's why nobody thought it was weird, including her folks and herself. Damn. This must be part of the whole salvation nonsense Maruki's trying to pull over on us. <laughs> that memory may have been kept here in video form because he truly does wish for Violet to be happy with life. I admit, I really did feel saved in that moment when I became Kasumi. But at the same time, I ran from my life as Sumire. I'm genuinely grateful for what Dr. Maruki did for me, but I'm done running. Let's get going. No more running! Here, here! We fight for what we believe in. It's somewhere. Round one, fight! All right, uh, let's do a fusion real quick. All right, let's move on. Hey, it's another big guy. Huh? What? Whoa, beefcake shadow at 12 o'clock. He appears to be blocking the only path forward in the palace. We'd better prepare for a fight. Joker. He looks really tough. Are you ready, Joker? Good to go. Yes. All right, let's do this. Are you the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> We're here to destroy the phony utopia your boss is trying to make. Would you mind getting out of our way? Foolish rebels, you won't take one step past here. Sir. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, she's the best person to go. There. Oh, now we can the ice. Nope. Oh, 
That attack missed its mark. Wish it didn't, but it did so. We have no choice but to accept the fact that it missed him. So we go back in and try again. Some more. We win. Until we can beat him. Yep. Damn it. Damn it. What? <laughs> Salvation. One shot to kill. We'll go for another, uh, Sword Stance. So he's actually resistant to fight, um, to swords. Uh, I'm pretty certain he doesn't have a fighting weakness. That's gonna be weird. I mean, not a fighting, a fire weakness. He might not have a weakness at all. Are you like truly going? Source it! Stop enjoying the cold stuff. Viper! I'm sorry to kill you too down here. Blazing hell. Oh, you think just because you can concentrate you're going to get through? But nah. Can I knock him? Nah, I missed him. Darn you, cat. How dare you miss? One shot to kill. Uh, let's go Come Brave Step. Persona. Uriel. Salvation. All right. Uriel. I'll return the favor. Thank you. I'm very grateful. No. Atomic Flare. But yeah, you got squeaky punch. People wanting to do things, and it's just like sweat fest is about to happen. <laughs> Shut up. 
trying to figure out where I saw that message posted it. Give me a second. Chat, trying to find this message. I know I just posted one, but... Phew, we did it. Everything going on in um in here, everything going on here is so bizarre. Changing people's cognition and rewriting their realities as happy ones. He may consider this a form of treatment, but I would assuredly decline such a procedure for myself. Come on. Let's, let's move go. out. We need to stop Dr. Markey. Alright, he says keep moving. Oh, another one! How do m how do many adolescents react when they are close they are close to another who is more talented than themselves? They by wishing to be that person? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me again. We did it. Um, I never would have thought well, I'd be the password to someone's security. I feel you. Honey bunny, I feel you. 